I'm Natasha Colvio from Jericho, New York in the United States. When you think of leading causes in adolescence, you may think of cancer, heart failure, or other deadly diseases. But in reality, suicide, the second leading cause of death in adolescence, kills more than all the aforementioned causes combined. Yet, there are no objective markers to predict adolescent suicide. And this is because, in general, there are paucity of studies addressing short-term suicide risk, defined as the likelihood of high-risk individuals who are originally hospitalized for suicidal behavior to engage in more suicidal behavior following their discharge from psychiatric hospitals. There's an even fewer number of studies in adolescents. In fact, right now, it's America's national goal to identify markers to predict adolescent short-term suicide risk, since current prediction methods are limited, as they rely entirely on clinical screening, which is subjective, and sub-report methods, which lead to the concealment of suicidal intent. In my project, I computationally developed two prediction models from primary de-identified data from two-year longitudinal studies. My first model was a strong predictor of three-month suicide ideation post-hospitalization, and my second model was a strong predictor of six-month suicide ideation. Both models had large effect sizes, which was greater than the 0.35 threshold, constituting a large effect size supporting its use in a clinical setting. My study has significant clinical applications, as I also found two neurocognitive tasks that are novel, non-invasive, and low-cost predictors of short-term suicide ideation, as both tasks could be administered on a mobile device in under seven minutes and has immediate quantifiable results, which when using the suicide risk calculator that I coded, clinicians can input neurocognitive task scores and have an automatic output for severity of suicide ideation. Further, my project not only addresses the prediction aspect, but prevention as well, as I identify two interventions targeting executive functions in males, the sex group that is four times more likely to die by suicide and is often left unaddressed by other studies. And this has the potential to decrease suicidal behavior, saving lives. Thank you for listening.